Android has them, Xbox has them, iOS has them, and macOS has had them for a while. So my question for you all, what's the deal with rounded corners? Should Windows have them too? What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today I really wanted to talk more about the whole rounded corners debate with windows because we've been kind of hearing a lot about rounded corners just coming in we've been seeing leaks of rounded corners in the right click menu for the taskbar we've been seeing ways to enable that feature we've also obviously seen and tried it out in windows 10x i think on the 24th we have that event the next gen what's next for windows event that people are hoping that we're going to see the latest and greatest version of windows or at least what microsoft says of it what's coming for it what ui improvements just all that information is circling in our heads but the rounded corners thing is something that is real and it's it's kind of been on my mind like other people and i did some digging and i looked at a website called uxmovement.com or .net and this is what they said about that whole thing about rounded corners in the world and mainly in computers. We have an eye for rounded corners because they're more organic to how we use everyday objects in the physical world. They also said that rounded corners also make effective content containers. This is because the rounded corners point inward towards the center of a rectangle. This puts the focus on the contents inside the rectangle. It also makes it easy to see which side belongs to the rectangle and when two rectangles are next to each other. So when we take that all in on what this website said, um, it can kind of make sense because even right now, the screen I'm looking at right now up here where I'm not looking at the lens, but the screen, uh, the screen is kind of shaped like a rectangle, even though it's for filming. It's an Atomos uh, Shinobi, I believe. Um, it's for filming, and yet it's rounded, and it just makes it easy for the elements on the eyes because what they say here is the idea that rounded corners are easier on the eyes and prevent eye fatigue longer than sharp corners seems to be a plausible reason why we may, in fact, see this later with Sun Valley. Furthermore, in the research that I was actually doing, the interesting thing was a Steve Jobs and Bill Atkinson. At the time, Bill managed to figure out the code needed for the Apple Lisa to render ellipses and circles. Later on, after showing Steve Jobs, Steve apparently rather thought that rounded rectangles or corners were a better fit. After taking their walk and looking at how many things just didn't have abrupt sharp corners like how it is in Windows 10, they later decided to work on the rounded corners onto the Lisa, which still exists in Mac OS today. And apparently it made customers think Mac had a more welcome and inviting feel as compared to the competition Windows, which was again, way back in the day. It still holds today. A lot of people feel like Mac OS is the more user-friendly and playful OS and Windows is the more productive and business-oriented, serious and boring OS. We heard this during the Windows Phone days with its sharp tiled interface versus Apple's rounded corners of iOS. I had a comparison with some friends back in the day when I had my old Lumia 1020 before it got bricked, RIP. And uh, they liked the interface of the Windows one. They really liked it. They liked what was going for it and everything like that. But the problem that they had is they felt that iOS's was more uh, friendly to get introduced to, not just because of the name, but just because the corners were more sanded down on the edges of apps and things like that elements on the screen it was more smooth obviously those were the skeuomorphic days of ios um so it was just an interesting thing but going further with this little thought that i had in my head how round is too round now when we think of rounded corners I have seen rounded corners from various things. This iPad that I see in front of me here to the left of the camera, that has a rounded corner. Um, various elements of things have rounded corners nowadays. Some phones do nowadays. They're not just square corners compared to my iPhone 7 Plus. A lot of things have rounded corners. But how round is too round? And obviously, you don't want super round corners. Mac OS, I'm using Mac OS uh, Monterey right now, the Mac OS 12 right now. And uh, it actually has... I mean, just like all the other Mac OSs, it has rounded corners. And to me, I feel like Mac OS's rounded corners are a little too round. At the same time, I feel like on Windows 10, we have sharp corners. It's just a 
true rectangle sharp on all edges i feel like that's a little too sharp and this is coming from just a designer standpoint so what is the happy medium is it windows 10x's rounding corners which is kind of subtle we've been seeing kind of shifts in the size of rounding on concept art that people have been making fan art and stuff like that but what is too round i think too round will probably be mac os and anything further than mac os is is way too round um, and then I think just right, honestly, might be a little less than Windows 10 X is rounded. And that's about it. And going a little further too, for businesses, because businesses, as soon as normal people see slight changes that they use every day, and, uh, they get confused and panic a lot. And that's why businesses don't like that change, like governments, especially. So I'm thinking that for this next version, the rounded corners and a bunch of the UI elements are going to have a kill switch they're going to have an off switch so that way you'll have like a windows classic style mode which will probably be like just like windows 10 mode um and then you'll have the true normal default mode which is what everyone will see which is that you know fresh refresh take that supposedly we're supposed to get i think that's what we'll have i think that's about pretty pretty simple to that you'll have an option because you know microsoft they like to give you a thousand options whether or not it's beneficial or not so I guess that's about it. I know this was kind of all over the place a little bit, but I just needed to get off my chest because we're getting close to the event. It's about two weeks away, three weeks away from that event. And speaking of that event, I set up a live stream. It's coming up. Um, I'll be going live 15 minutes before at 10.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so if you want to tune into that live stream, you can hang out with me. It'll be on YouTube here, as you know. You'll get notified. If you just subscribe to the channel, you get notified for that live stream and everything like that when it comes so stay tuned for that, and I'm excited. I'm really curious on what is coming next. If it is even much, who knows? It could just be nothing. Who knows? But we'll see. My name is Kwaku, and I'll catch you guys later.